Hi everyone. We're going to go ahead and do a get started project which will need VS Code and we'll need the Codiumate and the Java extension. Uh, right now I don't have any of that so we're going to go ahead first and say okay let's go ahead and clone or download this repository. So this is if you head over to GitHub and follow along with me the Codium-AI Dev Labs if I click on that, we'll go ahead and click on code and download the zip. I went ahead a time and downloaded it and unzipped it. So you can see here, you just double click on it, unzip it if you're on the Mac. On Windows, I believe it's very similar. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and navigate back into our project, which is getting started. And if we see here, our next step is to download Visual Studio Code. So if I click on that, you'll see that it takes us to a web page that has three different OSs that we can download. I'm using Apple Silicon. For the sake of time, I went ahead and actually downloaded that already. So if you see, I have it here and I am just gonna double click on it and it will open up and give me a Visual Studio Code dot app. This you're probably gonna to wanna to drop into your applications. I'm just gonna keep it here for the sake of the demo and double click on it. It's my first time, so I'm gonna open it up. And here is our Dark Modern. So this is you know fresh from scratch that I don't have this installed at all on my computer. So I'm gonna say Mark it has a download and our uh, mark done. And now the next step I wanna do is go ahead and get the Java extension. So I go to the marketplace and I can go ahead and say, click install. This will open up Visual Studio and give me the extension pack for Java and I will click install. And I will pause here and wait for it to, I'll see you after it installs. Okay, it's installed and you'll see that it's asking me now for my JDK. If you already have a JDK installed, if you open up a terminal window, there, click here, if you open up a terminal window, there we go, and do a Java version, and you will see that I've already installed a JDK. I will actually click on this so that you can see how easy it is that you can just download, use 21 and download the JDK. So we come here and it's already downloading. But I'm gonna go back to where we're at because I don't need to install the JDK. I'm gonna mark this as being done because I ran the Java Dash version so I know everything is ready to go and I'm gonna mark this as done. So where are we? We've got Visual Codio, a code, Visual Studio Code installed. We have the Java plugin or extension installed and now we're gonna do the Codium extension. And we can go back to our web page. We could go into the marketplace too or we can just go to click here and this will take us to Visual Studio's website. And you'll see here is our plugin. And you can look at the version histories, you can have Q&A, you can rate and review our plugin. And here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it. So it'll open it up. Should have brought up the extension. There we go. There's the extension in VS Code and we're gonna install it. Your mileage may vary on the time for it to come in or install it, so I'm gonna wait for a second and I uh, will be back. Okay, we're back and we're at the sign-in screen. So here you will go ahead and create your login or create a sign in. You can see here how to do that if you do not if you have not already done that. I'm already have a sign in. 
So I will click on sign in and this will open up a web page for me to go ahead and authenticate. I'm going to use my credentials that I already have established with Google and this will do my single sign on. So bring me back to Visual Studio and boom, I'm logged in. Great. Now that we have that completed, we're going to go ahead and get started with our project. This is just a very basic one, but I go ahead and open it here. So I'll open up the folder and I will go into the temp VS code, the project that we downloaded or the uh, repository and go to the project, the get started project and open it. And yes, we do trust it. And there we go. So we trust it, we have it open and we will go to now see the source. If I open up the source and we wait a few seconds, you'll see that Codiumate has recognized and it has, is instantiated and can start testing this. Um, or you can go right here to the actual Codiumate plugin head and do a plan, a new task. So I'm going to say the current file. I'm going to go new task and I'm going to say, uh, you know, using Java, Java for my task that I wanted to do. Um, and uh, the calculator class add a Fibonacci method. And what this is going to do is come out and explain out the task for me. And I can copy it. And it even gives me the main. It knows I don't have a main method there. Um, I can say, okay, that's great. Create the full task plan. And copy that part. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that into my class. And then I'm going to say, oh, I want to test this out. Obviously, we don't want to do system out uh, print lines and other things. But for the sake of this exercise, I'm just showing you that. And then we're going to go ahead and run this. So if we run it, there's Fibonacci should be should print five and should print 55, which it did. So we're good. Thank you very much.